chapter uh, 4. Mark chapter 4. Materialism, the choking effect. Materialism, the choking effect. Thank you, son. Let me get my son's hand real quick. I don't want to. I don't want them to play too hard. They've been working today, so let them rest a little bit. And I don't feel like hollering, so we're gonna get right into word. Materialism, the choking effect. Amen. Uh, I wrote something today on Facebook that, uh, which Facebook is just really uh, an avenue for narcissism. I mean, it's just a bunch of people just stuck on themselves, just so self-absorbed that every five minutes they got to have you like something that they say. Always taking butt pictures, side pictures, all kinds of pictures, selfie pictures. This, this, it's, it's, it's like they are uh, uh, fiends for attention. On, Breeds a selfish culture where I'm just so concerned. Everything in my life, ooh, I got this, ooh, this, that, ooh, this, that, ooh, I'm here, ooh, I'm over, ooh, I live here, what? It's just, it's just, just, it's just a uh, most, most of the people, if not the majority, owner are just um, insecure people that have found a way to get pats on the back throughout the day. <laughs> that's basically what it is. Put it, that's, that's why people put everything on it. They need somebody to affirm me, affirm me throughout the day. Affirm me, affirm me, affirm me, affirm me. And so it, 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 we've developed a narcissistic culture. Amen. Um, but the direct, uh, the, one of the direct reasons for unhappiness and depression, if we, can, we, can, we can probably go to materialism. The Bible tells us that uh, 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 well, when I, when I show you in Mark chapter, what I say? Mark chapter 4. Uh, I'll show you this, amen, in the Word so you can see it, but um, the ability to enjoy what God has blessed you with or haven't blessed you with is a great uh, is a, is, is a great um, reward that you don't need the rat race Amen. in order to be happy. Amen. I use that. I use Facebook and all of these different instant medias and Instagrams. And I'm using these things because I said some a while back that it seemed like the goal of these things is to make others jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Constantly updating people on what Amen. what you got and what happened to you and what door opened and what happened and what God did or what somebody did, what somebody gave you and uh, your new this, your new that, you know. These things to me, it's just, it's just like, what is the goal for constantly uh, 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 giving people snapshots of every part of your life? What's the goal for it? And I found that I think it's just to make people jealous. I, I, I really think that's what it is. And then people get mad when people are jealous of them. But, but the, the whole goal to me is to make people, it seems like it's to make people jealous. You see people on there that are, they've divorced and then seem like the whole goal for the rest of their life is to show how much they divorced didn't hurt them. To show I'm, ha I'm more happier than the person I divorced. Ain't that crazy when the person you divorced is, when the person they divorced is your friend too. <laughs> and both of them are trying to outdo each other. Well, I got married, well, I got married. <laughs> Y'all heard what I'm saying. It's a narcissistic culture. A selfish culture that doesn't care about anybody else. This is that Seinfeld culture. You know, if you really knew what Seinfeld was about, they didn't care about nobody. People be dying, they didn't care. They laugh about anything because their life, their self-being was the most important thing. And we have, that's the culture we have now where people 
you know, I saw something where the, somebody was beating up a police officer. No, he was a, he was a uh, 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 one subway officer, and they was beating him up, and the people were just walking past taking pictures. They wouldn't even stop to help. Wow. It's a narcissistic culture. We don't care about nobody but ourselves. Um, I was looking at the, uh, the, the, the this 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 uh, epidemic of suicide. You see where, to me, and suicide is the ultimate selfishness. Because yes. I don't care. How, I know I'm going to hurt y'all. Yes. I know it's going to destroy people. I know people are going to be dealing with this for the rest of their life, want yes. questions and have answers, questions in their mind, and yes. this is going to run somebody crazy, but I don't care. Yes. Because I'm hurting. I'm going through. I, I, me, me, me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's, the, that's, that's the first step of depression. Amen. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Amen. And use this because I ain't got something. Or I can't have something. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Or I can't have somebody. And this is what's, this, this, what trivial, what, 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 what trivial things it takes to get Christians to go into a depression. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So I want to talk about this because I see that this is, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if we can do anything about it. I just want to, it's just an observation. I realize, you know, you can preach till you fall out. People going to do what they're going to do. I'm just going to give you an observation of what. So you can recognize it in your own life. Recognize that you're starving for attention, craving attention. Say amen. And what we do is because we want attention, we get, we, we, because we crave attention and we are so insecure, we, 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 we get attention by, by what, we get, we get attention by material. So we, we know that if we get something new, there's attention. So we strive for the rest of our life to try to get new things in order to gain attention. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. We buy new clothes. I want attention. New hairdos Amen. is for attention. Everything we do, literally, is for attention. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And that's why we're so depressed because we're so, we're so, we want so much focus on us that uh, 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 um, we, we, we become consumed with us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? In other words, because I've only, because I have no outlet to give, I just become bloated on myself. Amen. Are, did y'all understand what I'm saying? Amen. Because in order to cure me mindedness, I must learn to serve someone, serve others. Amen. Find something, y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. And that's why that's the hardest thing for people to do, in, even in the church, is to serve. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Because we're trying to get that new dress or that new car or that new, you know, that new house or, are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why those messages are so popular because it fits this, you know, even the prosperity message is so popular because it fits a me-minded generation Amen. that's focused on, that needs materialistic to get self-worth. That needs materialism to get self-worth. Let me say, that needs materialism to get self-worth. Are you hearing what I'm saying? All right. So let me show you something. Which way should I go with this? I don't know if I want to go there yet. That's, that's, that's the heart of the message. Go over here to go over here to Revelations. We're gonna come back. Go to Revelations. And go to uh Uh, three, chapter three, Revelations. Chapter three, Revelations, Revelation, Revelation, Revelations. Are y'all there? Amen. And we're gonna start at verse fourteen because, of course, you know this is the this is the this is the epitome of me-mindedness or, or of self-centeredness or of um, materialism. Where these people in the Laodicean church, this last day church, uh, was so uh, thought that because they had increased in materials, in goods, in money, um, that they had mistaken the increase for God's blessing. Listen to what I'm saying. They had mistaken the increase for God's blessing. So the church, so this, so this church, you had to increase in order to be blessed so 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 spirituality was not judged 
based on what's happening in, in a person. It was judged based on what's happening on a person. Amen. That's why the Bible says man looks at the, uh, uh, man look on the outside, but God looks at the heart. Amen. So a materialistic generation will always study the outside and never see the inside. They will only clean the outside and never clean the inside. That's why we have people sharp as a tack on the outside, Amen. but whoremongers on the inside. Yes, Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Look godly on the outside. Y'all there. But thieves on the inside. Amen. Are y'all there? That's a sign of a materialistic culture. Are y'all there? Amen. Now, um, so let's look at this. Uh, verse 14, it says, And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, uh, right, these things saith Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know that works, yes. that thou art neither hot nor cold. I would thou were hot or cold. Now, yes. now we know that uh, we've heard this, this uh, explained before, but one of the uh, one of the uh, the the, the uh, characteristics of materialism is that it robs you of your fire. It robs you of your passion. That's a better word. Because your passions will become, your passions will change from seeking the Lord until uh, seeking what he has. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why most of, the, most of the church world is just a bunch of competition and people competing with each other and, you know, trying to get more than one another. And Because and, that's what church is now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are y'all there? So... Look at this. He says now, uh, you need a hot nor cold, and we know that means that the person's neither on fire for the Lord, and but they ain't they ain't they ain't backslid yet either. <laughs> they ain't out the door, but they still in the church. I will spew you out of my mouth because thou says I am rich, and increased in goods, uh, increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. This is the reason why uh, Hollywood and people, even people with, um, the people that don't serve the Lord with money hate us. Because this is how we see them. Amen. 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 This is how true Christians see people without Christ. Amen. Or see people that are, it, are, are, go to church but don't really live Amen. this word. Amen. And this is why they, they hate us. Because when I look at them, I don't see the, the, the rims or the Bentleys or the jewelry or the necklaces. I don't see the clothes or the hair. I don't see the Brazilian weave. All I see is wretchedness and nakedness and blindness. And that's what it looks like to a person who is really in Christ. Because we don't, what, our value system is different. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you there? I don't judge, I'm not looking at the, at, at, at the $30 lobster you ate. I'm looking at the $2 sandwich you gave away. Amen. See, in Christ, that's a different type of value system. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are y'all there? And so this materialism is, is, is what is choking. Now, remember that these people had to be on fire one time because he said, you know, I wish you were either hot or cold. Or cold. So it means they had to have some fire. But, this, but because they begin to judge spirituality by the increase of goods, by money, are you hearing what I'm saying? By opulence or luxuries or, 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 or items, then they begin to lose their passion for God and gain their passion for the things of the world. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Now, it is the spirit of the world that you're battling. That's what's choking out. Are, are y'all there or not there? Are y'all there? So, so, so materialism breeds narcissism. We've raised a generation of children that are, that are, that are materialistic yes. and, and they are very narcissistic, which means they, they don't have natural feeling for nobody. They don't even have remorse when they do wrong. Why? Because they get, they, 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 everything they've wanted, they've, they've gotten it. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you there? Amen. So, so Jesus is trying to tell them, so, so, so when Hollywood uh, sees the church, because they are so, it was the word I was looking at. Man, what was that word? It was a good word, too. That um, when Hollywood sees the church, they see us as wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. Amen. See, that's how they see us. Amen. Because our values are not their values. Amen. When the world looks at you, that's what they see. 
you what you mean you believe God? You ain't got no money. You ain't got no car. You 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 you, you barely you got money. You better get put out. You ain't got no what you talking about? Believe you look poor, blind, and wretched and naked to them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Why? Because the value system is different. But when we look at them, even in their opulence, they still look yeah. poor, blind, and wretched, and naked to us. So Are y'all there? Yeah. So he says, I counsel thee to buy, buy me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed. Now, say, now, notice that he said, uh, so he's talking about, you know, buy me gold, and he said that thou may be rich, and, and, and the white raiment, that thou may be clothed, that thou shame, that that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eye with eye salve that thou mayest see. Now, this layer to see in church, of course, it's like the modern day uh, uh, culture, where the culture wanted uh, uh, only the benefits of God without any suffering. If you notice, Jesus is speaking to seven churches, and most of these churches are suffering. But this church was not suffering. Are you hearing what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, they began to think suffering was evil. Now, you may not say that now, but that's what we do when our brothers fall. We say they must have been evil. Not knowing they were battling, they were suffering, they were going through something. Say, man, but because we only see success or material success or wealth as 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 good whenever we see uh, something less than that it must be sin Amen. it must be bad are y'all understanding what i'm saying Amen. so that's why now you can go to some churches and if you don't immediately start growing growing grow, grow, grow in finances then you're cursed yeah. Amen. are you hearing what i'm saying Amen. You know, if you just want to love the Lord and lay on the altar, love him and get a relationship with him. Well, that's not that's not that used to be what it what what that used to be what was valuable. But now we got to prove our spirituality by our faith to, to, to gain material things. I, I understand what I'm saying. So people say you are spiritual because you believe God for that car. You got that car. Are y'all there? But they don't see spirituality as a person that laid on the altar and got their heart right with God. Because you could, you could have get that car and be a whoremonger or be a liar or God not even like you. So our spiritual currency is wrong. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? This is, the, this is the blindness of this materialism. It makes you think because people have. How many of us have been jealous of folks in the world? See them with something, we get jealous. And we can't figure, and we, we, and we walk away saying, man, I don't know why they got that, and I'm saved, and they ain't, and we ain't figured it out, and we have no understanding of that, that's, that this was, that, 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 that this was because, that God doesn't reward us because of material. Amen. You, the only rewards you get is for your suffering. Amen. That's where you get spiritual currency from the Lord in form of glory, weight, is when you suffer and go through things, say Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But of course that doesn't preach very well. But this is, but see, this, now, 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 because we have a, a culture that bases uh, success or, or feelings yeah. on whether you got something in your pocket or something in your pot or two cars in your garage or, or three bedroom house with three bathrooms and yeah. say man, Amen. and filled up full of furniture and four TVs and come on and a wardrobe with 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 with, with enough clothes that you ain't got to wear nothing within a month come on talk to me and some money in the bank where you ain't just totally broke you got money in the bank this is what we think success is are you hearing what I'm saying now the problem with that is when that when when, when their clothes are touched they backslide when the house is touched, they backslide. Their cars touch, they backslide. Everything, they, all their material, when it gets touched, they're ready to fall out on God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm not saying God doesn't want us blessed. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about your heart can't be in those things. That's all right. That's, we won't get too deep into that. Okay, go now go over to Mark 4.
Mark 4. We want to talk about this choking effect real quick and we'll be done. Mark 4 verse uh, I could read the whole thing. I don't want to. Um, let's go to verse 3. Y'all there? Amen. Y'all there? Amen. It says, Hark and behold, there went out a sower to sow. And it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the earth came and divided it up, and some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth. Then immediately it sprang up, because it had no earth depth, no depth of earth. And when the sun was up, it was scorched was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away, and some fell among thorns, and thorns grew and choked it, and choked it, say choked it, and it yielded no fruit, and others fell on, on good ground, and did yield fruit, and that sprang up, and increased, and brought forth some 30, some 60, and some 100 fold. Now let's jump down, because he's going to explain this parable that he just gave them. Are y'all there? Amen. Uh, verse 14. Y'all there? Amen. Now he says, the sower soweth the word. Say the word. So, so now we're getting the kingdom of God value system. Say value. value. In other words, what is more profitable in the kingdom of God? Amen. Because we know it couldn't be things. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. So, so, so he's, saying, he's saying what the soul was sowing was the word. Amen. Are y'all there? Yeah. And are y'all there? Amen. So that's telling me the word must, have, must, be, have a, must, must be a high thing. It must have a preeminence. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And these and these are they and these are they uh, by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan come immediately and taketh away the word that's sown in their hearts. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Now, um, I, I I do want to deal with that, but I don't because I want to get down to this to, to, to the thorns. But I'll deal with it a little bit. Um, this is the goal of of the enemy is to steal the word. Any revelation you ever heard, he's after it. He's after that revelation. Whatever you're standing on, he comes for it. Yes. That's why you get hit right after you believe. Amen. Amen. Right after you said you believe, he hits you in that area. Why? Because he, he's trying to steal the word that you're standing on. That's why people don't like to release their faith because they know in the back of their mind, yes. I might have to fight if I release my faith on this. Amen. Right. Amen. Are you there? The minute you say you healed, he, here comes a symptom. Amen. Are you there? His job is to steal the word. He knows the word has the power. He knows the word is what your faith is attached to. And if he can steal the word, then he already know your faith is not going to have anything to attach itself to. Y'all there? So, 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 so these are they that sold uh, by the wayside. And they say, come immediately and take it the word that was on their hearts. And, and verse 16, and these are they likewise, which are sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the word, immediately received with gladness, have no root in themselves, and so endure for a time afterward, when affliction or persecution arises, for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. Now you can see that those are the people that fall away. As soon as they, uh, you know, as soon as the opposition comes, they fall off. They fall out with you. Verse 18. These are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the curse of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches. That's what I want to show you. The curse of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things enter in and choke the word and it become unfruitful. This is the choking effect. This is what's wrong with us. This is why it's very difficult to keep even what you receive when I'm preaching. Even the, even the breakthrough you're hearing and getting when I'm preaching, you can't keep it because the minute you leave, that there's something, there's something, are y'all there? There's something other that enters in. There's something else that has your focus and your attention that you never cultivate the revelation you heard. You got you taking notes, but you never read them. But you write them. Maybe it's just a habit, but you don't read them. You got a notebook full of notes, but you don't read those notes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I got messages on YouTube. Many don't listen to them. Free word that you can hear is what you heard again, in order to reinforce what you heard, to to hold on to that revelation. But we don't. Why? Because when we leave, we have movies. We have. Uh, we have uh, 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 Kentucky Kingdom. We have, uh, you know, we have um, date night. We have what else? We got. We got TV. We got, um, you know, food, music, 
friends, family, fellowship. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Those things enter in. It kills us. Something else that we become more passionate about takes the passion away. Are y'all there? And the lust of other things. See, these lusts of other things is our problem. Are y'all there? And these things come in and choke. They, 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 they choke out the word. This is this materialism. I'm telling you, this is the reason why we work, in, you know, we work so hard trying to, trying, trying to get things and pay for things and buy things. And we ain't figured out that this society is not, is not designed for you to have a marriage, a, a whole marriage, and to be able to truly raise and mentor your children. But it's not designed for that way. It's designed to get your children out from, out from up under you. It's designed to get your wife in the workplace. It's designed to keep you out there working long hours so you can't nurture your children. You can't love on your wife. Your wife can't give you no affection because she's too busy, tired, and unfocused. Say amen. The daycare is raising your children. Somebody else's spirit is being imported into your child. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Why? Because of this, this material thing, trying to get more than you may say, no, we got to work, but you didn't have to buy that car and get that car. No, you didn't have to have that size. No, you did that because of materialism. Y'all ain't want to hear me. See, if, see if, you, if you was really walking in humility, you would have got something that was all right, something you could drive you would have paid it off and been done with it instead of having to pay full coverage insurance. Y'all want to talk about this. High interest rates, full coverage insurance. Say amen. Are uh, y'all there for five to ten years on something that's going to depreciate the second that you bought it? Are uh, you hearing what I'm saying? And for that, you have to work longer, be more stressed out. Do so you spend less time with your children, less time with your family, less time in the world, no prayer life. Are uh, y'all there because you're trying to pay for it and put food on the table? Are uh, y'all hearing what I'm saying? You'd be surprised how people will work harder just to get their hair fixed. They got to have their hair fixed. It's like an obsession. They got to have their hair fixed. Won't fix their hair. But they got to have somebody do it. Got to have new hair fixed every week. Are y'all there? These, these things enter in. Are y'all there? Because we don't want to be embarrassed, we want to go out and rent furniture. Because cause, cause I want to invite people over that probably shouldn't even be in my house anyway, but I'm a, I just want to invite them over to front. You ain't doing my, you, you, all you're doing is Facebooking. you just Facebooking, which is just fronting. That's all you're doing. Now, you don't went out there and got in debt to impress some folks who probably could care less. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This, it's this choking effect. And then when you can't do those things and don't have those things, and when you ain't able to do it, you feel depressed. Yes. You feel down. Say amen. amen. When somebody else can and you can't, you feel down, so you go to the check cashing place. You go, ask, you, go, you go do things you don't even have to, that's going to bring depression. Yes. When they go ahead and send that check in in two weeks, they're going to go home and send it on you. <laughs> and you know in the back of your mind that money ain't in there, and you know it ain't there. And you know it's going to bounce that and bounce that and bounce that and bounce that and bounce that. Choking effect. When the Bible says God in this with contentment is great gain. Amen. Live within your means. Live within your means. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? How you, you can't get paid and eat fifty dollars fast fifty dollars every time you get paid, go out to eat for fifty dollars. You can't do that. But you know more about restaurants than anybody else, and you don't you ain't even got enough money to go. Yet you know what their menu is. You shouldn't even know that stuff. You know, you know, when you know when we was growing up, we didn't know the inside of a restaurant. We didn't know what it was. I, it was it was almost like a it was almost like a field trip. We had no idea what the inside of McDonald's. I didn't know what McDonald's looked like till I was old enough to walk over by myself. <laughs> had no idea why? Because when you ain't got nothing, you ain't supposed to eat good. You eat at home. You buy meals at home. You fix your food at home. What y'all doing going out here eating the twenty five dollar meals and you don't, and you don't think nothing about it when you do it? Yet you crying, you broke. Don't you? Food is materialism. Are y'all there or not there? Amen. And my wife tried to tell people when you, you know, don't, don't, don't lease a car. Amen. If, you ain't, if, you, if, you, if you can help it, don't finance a car. Amen. Take your taxes and buy a car. Amen. May not be the best what everybody, but that's all right. That's right. I'm riding debt free. Right. I'd rather ride debt free, keep my money in my pocket, Amen. and be rolling debt free than sitting up here with a $600 of payment going out every month. Amen. The devil is alive. Amen. That ain't freedom. It's called materialism. And it's choking us. Amen. Say amen. amen. Now I know us around here, we've learned a little bit how to try to do better with our finances, but 
But this is what is, I see is one of the major problems of, 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 of depression is that people want and can't get it and so they go into a depression over it because I can't get what others have. Instead of realizing, let me live within my means now. And later on down the road, I'll get it without sweat. I can buy this $250 dress today and, 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 and be stressed. Or I can buy it six months from now in peace. Y'all heard what I'm saying? And it's very difficult to live like that because when you constantly surfing in Facebook, you constantly looking at people always. To me, it just it, it, to me it just it, it just it just incites a person to to, to 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 try to go do something so they can have some type of something to post. That's what it does, really. It does. I'll be I'll be looking at somebody post like this is this is ridiculous. You just had to find something so somebody can give you some likes, and you feel you feel good because somebody said they like what you did or said a picture or whatever. And and and, and I was on because now all I'm doing is putting our videos on. I'm like let's put, put the videos on there. I ain't whatever y'all doing is fine. I'm gonna use it to put the videos on there. But sometimes I look a little bit and I'm like some people I just be like well, I just want to race all these people. Because you get tired of their pictures, you get tired of, it's like everywhere they are, everywhere they go, everything they do, say man, they get a new pair of shoes, they got to show, they got to take a picture of their feet with you. Yeah. It's materialistic. Oh, it's so materialistic. Amen. And these very people, if you don't, if, if somebody, if one person say one thing negative, they will shut down. Yeah. They'll literally go into a depression. I don't know why people hating on me. I don't know why people don't like me. You got 170 people that said they liked it. But one person, that's why, I, that's why I, every time I'm on, I'll be, I'll be telling people, you don't, want no, uh, you don't want no objectivity. You don't want nobody. You don't want a conversation. You want me to praise you. But when I say that's foolishness, or, or that word you said was, it's foolishness to somebody who's smart. You didn't want, you didn't want objectivity. You didn't want conversation. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? Why? Because we have become a, a culture that, 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 that we, a culture that is so saturated with, 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 with getting attention and, and security from material Amen. that we can't even get a, you know, you get your hair done, it's on there. You know, everything a person gets is, is you can see it. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. And then while you on there, some other girl Get their hair fixed and then you jealous. Because your hair, you can't get your hair done today. That Facebook made you depressed. You would have never felt that way if you didn't wake up and check it and see all the old that day. Say, man, that stuff is foolishness. I don't have time to let that, 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 that stuff outside of me gauge my mood. Constantly gauging my mood. People constantly speaking into my life. Whether they like what I say or don't like what I say. Uh, I'm checking this 50, 50 times to see if you like what I say. Knowing good and well, you can't handle me talking for real anyway. Amen. Every time I put something on that real, man, can't suggest me, delete me. I, I, don't, I don't care. I'll be like, man, look, I don't, I don't got no friends. I, I don't know none of you niggas on her for real. This, some of y'all, this, this is years ago, I knew some of y'all. So I don't really care about that stuff. My point is, is that I just see this. I just see this culture that's just so saturated with this materialistic mentality. Are y'all there? Amen. Let me get done. I was gonna end with I was gonna end with godliness, with contentment is great gain. Amen. Learn to live godly yes. and be satisfied. Amen. I think me and my wife are finally coming into this understanding. Really, seriously, we're learning just, you know what, we, 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 I, you know, we're going to go home, I ain't got to be everywhere, I ain't got to do everything, I ain't got to be like all these other pastors, I ain't got to be, I ain't got to go all over her and be seen over her and run with the click in the club, and I ain't got to run with the family, we got our own traditions, I ain't got to go no more on Christmas, I ain't got to go with people have on Thanksgiving, we got our own thing, why, because we just coming into ourselves, we just enjoying ourselves. Godliness with contentment is great game. I don't, I don't study nobody. I ain't trying to be like you. I ain't jealous of you. I, ain't, I don't care what you get. I'm glad what you get. 
but I ain't even got, I'm done cheering for you. I ain't got to cheer for you just to make you feel good about you. You feel good about you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I feel good about me. You've ever said a fifth five people feel good about, you know, I'm telling you, man, how fragile is some of these people's ego? If, if they put something on there, you say, well, they, oh, I don't like those shoes. They hating. I got haters on her. No haters, it's just, the shoes are ugly. Nobody's on her for any, no, nobody, nobody's on her for any, 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 any um, true objectivity. To Amen. People on her because they are, they are, they are narcissists and they need attention. And they got to tell everybody what they doing and get as many likes because they, in their mind, those likes are aff affirmation Amen. to their small ego. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. When a person is confident, knows who they are in God, man, I don't, we don't care about that stuff. Are y'all there? I don't care what you get. I'm not jealous of what you have. I'm not competing with you. Are y'all there? Some of y'all need to spend less time talking about y'all hair and y'all clothes and focus on who, who you are on the inside so you can do something for God because your beauty going to fade. All that's going to fade. fade. It's fade now and fading fast. And it'll go away fast on you and you'll be jealous of your daughters. You'll be jealous of your daughters because they, they, the, they are the new improved you. And if you don't get out of that materialism, you're going to be jealous of them. I've seen it happen. Mothers be jealous of their daughters because now the daughters got what you don't got. It's firm, it's younger. She is the younger you. And instead of you nurturing her at that age, you should compete with your daughters. Get over that foolishness. You got to be doing to her, not compete with her. You got you to grow up out of that stuff. And y'all ain't nobody want to talk about it. That's the worst thing is to put your trust in beauty. That stuff going to fade on you. You it's already fade. You got stretch marks all over the place. You lift your shirt up look like a massacre. Yet you try to, try to be cute. Stop all that. I, I'm let me be you. But stop all that. Y'all understand what I'm saying? I'm, but all that's the materialistic. It's materialism. Look at how insecure our women are that they put other people's hair in their head. How insecure are you? How insecure is it that you got somebody else's hair? I mean, I'm, a, I'm keeping it all the way real. Now, if I was a woman, maybe I would understand better. But I was so real in the world, I would have rather been a bald head woman. My wife would tell you I was really, I was very real. I wouldn't wear no fake gold. Everything I had was diamonds real. I wouldn't, everything had to be real. I ain't wearing nobody else's stuff. It ain't, I don't wear hand-me-downs. I don't buy stuff. It's real. And I could not understand for the life of me, how we could, how we getting away with that. I don't think it's cute. Blind, wretched, miserable, and naked. That's what it looks like to me. Person is blind. They don't like theyself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Used to be a oh, oh, lady get them in her style, stick with it 20 years. She roll a set for 20 years. It's fine. But now we got to do all this different ways and flops, flips, ups and do's and all that. Trying to, try, just fronting, jealous and fronting. Amen. Spending that money, jealousy and being front. Forget that. Get you something you like that looks good on you. Stick with it. <laughs> Let that be your trademark. Amen. Grow your own hair out. Amen. And if it don't grow, make it work short. My sister's a, my, I, got a, I got a younger sister. She's, she's really cute. Her husband's been short all since, I've, all, since her whole adult life. It's short, blonde, but it's, she, she's a hairdresser and it's cute. It always was cute and it's short like a fade. It always had it like that. Amen. So you don't have to always have long hair. But if she put some fake hair in her head, me and her, I would, I would tell that this, that looks crazy. <laughs> that looks weird. That's not you. Amen. Same material. Amen. Material. Amen. Ain't got gas money, but got nail money. Yeah. It's material. Amen. Don't nobody want to talk about this stuff. 
how you got French tip toenails? Come on. French tip toenails. And your child ain't got no clothes. Something's wrong. You're material. You're material. Say amen. You got to forget all of that stuff. Take care of, you prioritize. Your children are more important than you. <laughs> now you hear what I'm saying? You got to prioritize. Come out of that material world. Say amen. You saved now. You saved. I don't, I don't mean we don't, I told y'all, we dress nice. We try our best to dress nice. But we dress nice when we was broke. We dress nice when we were broke. Because we were taken, we knew how to make it work. And because class is class. When you classy, you just classy. You can take, if you're a classy person, you don't need a lot of money to be classy. But you get your own style. So you ain't got to compete with the new stuff come out every, every week. Get your own style. Say amen. Get you something in your range that you can afford and, 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 do, and do you. And somebody would like that brand. Yeah. They would look at that and say, I like you. I like you. You're unique. I like that. Amen. Who cares you got her like K. Michelle? It ain't not her. Who cares? This Brazilian her. Who's her soul? Who cares that you got her like the hip hop chicks and all that soul? That ain't they her. Who cares that they paid $1,000 for it? Who cares? Amen. Which fag did it? Who cares? It don't matter. Because a woman with reels beating all of that. A woman walk over reels like, look, she's beating all of that stuff. I, I don't know. Why am I even talking about this stuff? I'm just trying to say, man, I'm, I'm, y'all got to, you know, you, you got to stop talking about a real black woman. Y'all got to stop that. You ain't ready for no strong black woman. What well, be strong on your own. Get that strong. Get your undergrowth strong. You got to be worried about no. No, I'm telling you, that stuff is ridiculous. And when I see that poor, blind, wretched, and miserable, it looks crazy now. I, I, I used to think, uh, I didn't pay attention to it years ago, but because but, my wife's hair always was long, and I never paid attention to it. But then I began to look, and I'm like, when I went to Africa is when I really paid attention. Like, wait a minute, these is Africans. Now, I know they hair is like that. What's your, what's your? <laughs> You see now they over in there, her down the herd. Come on, man. At least try to be realistic. You know what I mean? Get, you know, get them, get that much. Don't all the way down. Get something to help you. But this is the. But it's materialism. Billions of dollars a year on that stuff. Billions a year on clothes. Billions a year on shoes. Billions we spend it. We are so material, it don't make no sense. And the ones we look up to are the ones that got the most material. This girl could be a, a killer, a whoremonger, a, a liar, a cheater, a murderer, but if she got some money, we okay with her. These ghetto fabulous chicks that, 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 that sell dope, but because they got the money to go get their hair done and, and stay fly all the time, we look up to that like that's something. I heard somebody over here went to college and trying to do something with their life, and we don't, we don't even see that as nothing. Because they style ain't right. Y'all, y'all, some of y'all missed some trips. Amen. Amen. You ought to be looking. Forget that ghetto, fabulous look. Amen. So what? They got a little bit of money. So what? Amen. That's not the value of the kingdom of God. Right. Quit freaking off that stuff. Amen. Quit sitting up watching them her shows and her books and all them old shows, freaking off this, this worldly mess. Amen. This worldly mess. They have y'all looking nutty and crazy. That's why white people probably look at you like, this is some nutty stuff. This is some nutty. They, they talk about they don't like us, but they, they always look and look like us. This is nutty. It's materialism. And we are so material in the black community, it don't make no sense. Let me, uh, I done got off on something crazy. Here. Are y'all there? I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm saying that because I'm telling you, you'll never know who you are until you start liking what you got. Liking your body. Liking your hair, liking your eyes, 
like whatever features, whether whatever whether whether it's, it's good, big, bad, little, whatever it is, you got to start enjoying yourself and liking what you have. When you begin to like yourself, I'm not saying you got to like when you, if a person may be overweight or whatever, you ain't got to like that because you can do something about that. Okay, but I'm saying, but don't let that make you hate you. I ain't gonna hate me over that because I can be big and nice. <laughs> And, and, and dress divine and clean and you know I don't have to say amen. amen begin to like like what you got amen. are you hearing what I'm saying amen. so that you don't be watching other people and liking what they got you can't have what they got anyway like what you got are y'all there stand on your feet I'm done I'm all I can't go no further with this